Jason is, he's taught me so much about comics. So, Keaton, you've been doing this a long time. Uh, yeah, probably uh, too long because I'm starting to feel it. But it's okay. I, I believe it's uh, part of my mission in life to bring at least to the black youth and people of color representation in comics. Because when I was growing up, uh, I didn't see a lot of that in the mainstream comic book industry, like a lot of the superheroes, at least the ones that were cool and the people you wanted to be were white males. <clears throat> and so I wanted to introduce to comics, well, I wouldn't say me, because there's others, and you'll meet them at our show, at the Black Comics they hear about, at a World, World Bee Center, Bob Bull Park. We, as a collective of African-American creators, want to make comics that have black male and female protagonists so that our youth, as they grow up reading this stuff or watching the cartoons or playing the video games, have a true representation of who they are, which will empower them to go on in life no matter what their endeavor is. And so, uh, like I said, it's something I didn't have when I was growing up. And so I feel it's my duty to take my talents and use the comic book medium because that's where my profession lies and um, tell stories, like I said, that have uh, black or African-American or people of color as the main protagonist of the storyline. But, but at the same time, these stories are universal. Any person, any creed, any color, any race can enjoy these books. It just so happens that our main characters happen to be of African descent. It gives the African-American kids, like you said, uh, strength and to know that they have their own superheroes. And mm -hmm. when we can put this into history, and uh, history into comics, people are gonna just like start reading again. Mm -hmm. And those who read shall lead. That's right. And I know we're gonna be doing some um, all people of color that'll be coming uh, yeah. that you're going to be doing that. And pr the proof is in the pudding. Like this, this is a sketch I did of Black Panther, which in 2018 um, blew the lid off the roof. Like uh, this film was, even though it was a big Disney funded film, the, the consensus was that black films didn't sell mm -hmm. and or they didn't translate overseas. So this film broke all of, the, all of the naysayers and all of those stereotypes and all those barriers. Um, this film went out and proved all that wrong, which is basically, what I'm basically saying is, um, that's proof of concept right there, that the stuff that I'm doing, like with my own comic, the Power Knights, is, for instance, which can be had at kid-comics.com, um, a concept like this, due to Black Panther's success, has a fighting chance now because people, it, it, it's been proven that stories, science fiction stories, horror stories, dramas, and so on and so forth that have African American or African leads can and will sell. If the platform is given, if, if they're under the right platform, if they're under the right funding, they're under the right promotion, such as World Bee Center, Makeda Dread, who does a lot of um, work in the community and putting people on, people who are people, primarily people of color, but really people from all over the world. As, as if you come to the World Bee Center, you'll see that there's flags that represent every nation on our planet. And the people that, that inhabit this place and the art that's displayed in this place is represented of people all over the globe. And it's valuable. And so going back to our original discussion of Black Comics Day and Black Future Month, so forget about, well, don't, don't forget about black history, but embrace black future, because that's where, I mean, the history can't be changed, but we can always form the future because it's, it's a new day every day. And um, we're, here to, we're here to write a new script and a more positive script and a more bountiful script. And so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm teaming up with her. She asked, she invited me to be a part of her, um, what she has going on in the community and be a part of her facility. And I was happy to do it. And uh, yeah, and here we are. Black Comics Day will be at World Peace Center, Balboa Park, San Diego, February 22nd through the 23rd.
For more info, please visit the Facebook event page for Black Comics Day, Heroes Rise 3. Black Comics Day. Balboa Park, San Diego. Be there.